Louisiana Tech is buzzing after upsetting the fourth-ranked Ole Miss Rebels last night in comeback fashion. It was their first win against a top-five team since 2003, and today they look to win their third straight against Ole Miss. Freshman Jordan Vera, not a lot out there. Keith, this is just his second appearance on the mound for the Rebels. Yeah, you know, the, there's got to be nerves. I mean, he certainly knew last night he was going to be the starter today, and for a freshman, sometimes that can be a long day. Probably glad it's a 3 o'clock game instead of <laughs> 6 tonight. Um, but a good arm and certainly a young man that Ole Miss expects a lot out of. Skies this one to right. McCants hustling as is Chatnier. McCants makes the play. Nick Fragonal's on your screen. ERA of zero. This is his first start. He's a freshman as well. What do you think we'll see from Fragonal's here today, Keith? Well, we don't have much of a scouting report on him, but looks like he's going to be upper 80s with the fastball. Obviously, could throw a breaking ball and a change up. And on the ground to second. Safford to second. First base, set of the inning. Fragonal's is fired up. That's your job is to make the next pitch, locate the next one, execute it, and whatever happens, happens. Deep to right center. Croft on the run at the wall, reaches up. This ball's gone. The way Groff was running at it made it seem like he may have had a chance at it. But the Bulldogs strike first. Ethan Bates with his first home run of the season. He sends a towering blast to center field. Croft at the wall, looks up. This ball's gone. Two long balls for Louisiana Tech today. And he's hyped up, coming to home plate. That ball had some real carry. I get back out there with a three-run lead, but you can't take a deep breath against this Ole Miss offense. Alderman with a high drive. Deep left center field. This ball is gone. When you challenge Kemp Alderman on a 2-0 count, you better locate a little bit. That ball is right down the middle, and Kemp Alderman hit what you call a no-doubter right there. The other way. Loops it in there. Base hit. Calarco scores. Here comes Furness. The throw home. Not in time. Tie game. But uh, we moved this game up an hour to just dodge the wet stuff and perhaps anything severe as Groff punches this one to deep right. On the run is Matulia at the track and cue the showers. Ole Miss leads. Opposite field power. I like that ball might have been up and out of the zone. But Groff got the barrel to it and really basically no doubter.